Hello and welcome back to the channel of the Education Magazine. Can you imagine a city home to millions disappearing right before your eyes? Jakarta, Indonesia's bustling capital, is facing a crisis unlike any other. It's sinking. Yes, you heard that right. Amidst the chaos of congestion and pollution and the looming threat of earthquakes, this metropolis is vanishing into the Java Sea at an alarming rate. The World Economic Forum lists it as one of the world's fastest vanishing cities. So what's the solution? In this video, we'll uncover the ambitious plan to save Jakarta as we dive into the fascinating story of Indonesia's giant sea wall. Jakarta is on the brink. This vibrant city, teeming with life, is grappling with a reality that seems straight out of science fiction, it's sinking. Not slowly, but at an alarming rate that could see parts of it submerged by 2050. The culprit? A deadly combination of geographical misfortune and human activity. Jakarta sits precariously on a delta, where 13 rivers from the surrounding highlands converge with the Java Sea. This unique position makes it especially vulnerable to flooding. But there's more to the story. The city's land is collapsing under its own weight due to the excessive extraction of groundwater. Buildings and homes are literally sinking, some areas at a rate of 25 centimeters annually. It's a crisis that's pushing the Indonesian government to take drastic measures. In a historic move, they've decided to relocate the capital to Borneo, leaving behind the sinking city for a new beginning. This decision isn't just about escaping the encroaching waters, it's a statement about the future of urban living and the lengths we must go to preserve it. Jakarta's struggle is a stark reminder of our need to harmonize with nature rather than dominate it. The giant seawall is a testament to that a bold step towards resilience and a hope to keep Jakarta afloat. Jakarta is sinking, and it's not just a metaphor. This city is going down, literally. Every year, parts of Jakarta dip by as much as 25 centimeters. The reasons? Well, they're mostly man-made. The city's thirst for groundwater is like a giant straw sucking the land dry. Buildings and roads add weight, pressing down on the soft, alluvial soil. And then there's the city's location, on a delta, where the land meets the sea, making it naturally prone to flooding. But the plot thickens when we look north to the Java Sea. Here, Indonesia's plan to build a massive seawall could spell disaster for the marine ecosystem and the local fishermen. The wall needs sand, lots of it, and its construction could destroy the very waters these fishermen rely on for their livelihood. It's a classic case of solving one problem but potentially creating another. Jakarta's sinking is a complex issue, and the seawall, while a bold move, is a reminder that our actions have consequences, often reaching far beyond what we can see. In the heart of Indonesia, a monumental endeavor is rising the giant sea wall of Jakarta. It's not just a wall, it's a lifeline. Designed to halt the relentless march of the sea into the city, this project is a bold statement of survival. The wall aims to shield Jakarta from floods, promising a future where urban development can flourish without the fear of being washed away. But every story has two sides and the giant sea wall is no exception. Critics raise their voices in concern, pointing to the potential environmental fallout. The wall could disrupt the delicate marine ecosystem, and its hunger for sand might erode the very shores it's meant to protect. Communities that have thrived on the sea's bounty face uncertainty, as their homes and livelihoods could be uprooted. This wall is more than concrete and steel. It's a symbol of the struggle between human ambition and nature's will. It's a reminder that our quest to build and grow comes with a price, and sometimes that price is the harmony we share with the world around us. The giant sea wall of Jakarta stands tall, but the waves of debate continue to crash against its foundations. Jakarta's sinking is not just a local problem, it's a ticking time bomb for the economy. Imagine the city, the economic powerhouse of Indonesia, contributing significantly to the nation's GDP, now facing a threat that could ripple across the globe. The city's descent into the sea spells disaster, with increased flooding disrupting businesses, saltwater corroding the lifelines of infrastructure, and entire communities uprooted from their homes. The economic toll is staggering. Infrastructure damage alone leads to costly repairs and maintenance, while the disruption in transportation and commerce slashes economic activity, leading to job losses and a downturn in investment. Jakarta's plight is a stark reminder of our vulnerability to nature's wrath and the urgent need for sustainable solutions. The giant seawall is a response to this crisis, a desperate bid to hold back the tides and protect the economic heart of Indonesia. But the question remains, will it be enough to stem the tide of economic and social upheaval? Jakarta isn't alone in its fight against the rising tides. 
cities like Lagos, Houston, and even Venice are all part of this global ensemble, each grappling with the threat of sinking into oblivion. But Jakarta stands out, not just for its rapid rate of sinking, but also for its urban landscape. It's a city where shopping malls sprawl more extensively than in any other city across the globe, and the skyline is punctuated by a forest of high rises and skyscrapers. This isn't just about losing land, it's about the potential collapse of a metropolitan giant, a hub of economic and social activity that's home to millions. The giant seawall is a response to a global crisis, one that's echoed in the waterlogged streets of Dhaka and the subsiding foundations of Mexico City. It's a stark reminder that our urban jungles, impressive as they are, remain at the mercy of nature's relentless forces. As we've seen, Jakarta's battle against the rising tides is a stark reminder of our planet's fragility. The giant seawall is a testament to Indonesia's resolve, but it also raises questions about the future of coastal cities everywhere. Sustainable urban planning isn't just a choice, it's a necessity for our survival. Now we turn to you. What steps can we take to protect our cities from the threat of sinking? Share your thoughts and let's discuss. And if there's a topic you're passionate about and want to explore, tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching.